and AM 1160. And good morning to you. Raining outside. Uh, State police, by the way, have just sent us an image. For those of you on Facebook, you could probably see that at a distance. We'll put it up on the website here today of a a gentleman who is uh, wanted in connection with a retail theft um, at the Walmart in White Township on April 18th. So we'll get that posted for you, and uh, you'll have the chance to see if you can't maybe help out state police in that. But we've got something really fun and important to talk about today, and it's with Dina St. McClosey from Indiana Regional Medical Center. Dina, I always mess up your last name. I apologize. (laughs) No, you did well. Thank you. I, I try to slur it when I, I say it really fast. That way that it's not as obvious. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Uh, Dina, they, there was a report released just yesterday from, uh, I think it was from WalletHub or somebody like that, to talking about the best states for nursing. Uh, I did see that, yeah. and, and I think Pennsylvania was 19th out yeah. of the 50 states, yeah. something mm-hmm. along those lines. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll, we'll look at that a little bit later and find out some of the details on that. But this is Nurses Day. This is a day, uh, to celebrate, uh, some really, really special people. And I know, uh, with your work at IRMC that, uh, you agree. Those nurses are special people, aren't they? Absolutely. Yes. Um, we couldn't do it without them. So yes. Yeah. Yep, they're there every day. They're taking care of patients. You know, it's mm-hmm. been a very difficult two years, so Today's the kickoff um, of National Nurses Week, yeah. um, and we always follow the theme of the American Nurses Association, and this year it's Nurses Make a Difference. Um, so we are doing some fun things this week at the hospital. Today um, is a kickoff. We're doing a picnic slash luau, so um, a potluck that staff can bring in and participate. Um, and then we are also doing a break room decorating contest kind of around the theme of luau beach. Mm. Um, and I hear there's some... Pretty good competition out there. Some people have built up uh, tiki bars in their break room, so they're really? really having fun with it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And we got you a beautiful Hawaiian type of day today, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just gorgeous outside. <laughs> yes. Uh, for, okay, so, so let's get serious a little bit about what nurses do. Um, uh, I was uh, recently uh, a patient for it, an outpatient at IRMC, mm-hmm. uh, and it's just the care uh, and, and yeah. the personal nature of what nurses do for people absolutely yes it's just amazing Mm -hmm. very compassionate very empathetic Um, we have the daisy award that we started last nurses week that was kind of our kickoff for that Mm -hmm. we've had um, over 30 i'm sorry over 40 nurses um, nominated for that we've done um we're doing getting ready this week we'll do our fourth honoree Um, we do an award every other month so they can be nominated by patients visitors um co-workers so we get a a nice mix of staff members being nominated for that and then we have a big celebration on the nursing unit um Mm -hmm. they get a plaque they get a um, hand carved stone statue um, that's done by an african tribe in zimbabwe um we do cinnamon rolls for the whole unit to kind of celebrate. And that was something the founders of the Daisy Award, um, their son, Patrick, that was one of the only foods he could tolerate at the end when he was very ill. Uh-huh. So we always do a cinnamon roll celebration for the unit. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we think about nurses, um, we think of their tenderness um, and their compassion. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and that's something that... You know, that's built into their personalities, first of all. Yes. Uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of tra- there, a lot of training has to go into it because oh, yes. mm-hmm. there are some situations nurses find themselves in where if they react in a calm and, and a very uh, caring way, yes. it's mm-hmm. going to it's going to really influence the outcome of that situation. Oh, absolutely. You have to. Um, one of the kind of catchphrases during the pandemic was that the nurse is the Swiss Army knife of the healthcare system. Yeah. And you really have to have a whole bag of tricks and be able to pull those out kind of depending on the situation that you're at. So, yes, they're very skilled, uh, very compassionate. And um, as this last two years with the pandemic has shown us, have a lot of resiliency, a lot of grit. Um, and, you know, they tend to give more of themselves um, mm-hmm. and they don't take care of themselves probably as well as they should. So that's going to be a big focus for us um, moving into the next year and future years is the well-being of our nursing staff. I think the the nurses as a whole, as a group across the nation and, and here at IRMC, uh, I think they sort of acted as if they were going to war Absolutely. When, when the pandemic yes. come along mm-hmm. and, and yep. they refused to lose. Right. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. You um 
even though you're nervous and scared, you are that support person for the family. In the beginning, you know, we didn't have visitors. We didn't have family coming in. So you were that everything for patients. And it was very difficult for staff. Um, but I commend them, and there's nothing we can do to thank them enough for um, all of the all of themselves that they've given over this last two years. So yeah, it's, it's just amazing to me. Nurses educationally, mm-hmm. um, y- you don't graduate from college with your nursing degree and uh, that's it. I'm fully equipped for the rest of my life. <laughs> right. It's an ongoing process, Absolutely. isn't it? Yes, it's lifelong learning. So um, that's one of the good things about nursing too. Um, so it's lifelong learning. And if you're, you know, say you take a job on a med surge floor and you think this isn't my cup of tea, then you're able to switch and, um, you know, maybe behavioral health is where you want to be or rehab care. Mm -hmm. Um, so without having to go back to school, but learning kind of those on the job things that you need to, you know, take care of that demographic of patients. Um, but you're kind of given that skill set initially when you go through school. But a lot of it is kind of um, ongoing learning. You know, we have things at Indiana now that we never had before. We have robotic surgery. We have, um, we're looking at, you know, transitioning to same-day joint replacements. So as those things change and we become more innovative, um, nurses have to be flexible and adapt with that. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things talking with Dr. Clark, he's so amazed by the skill level Mm -hmm. of of the nursing profession at IRMC. Yes. Um, And and it it really is. Nursing is intuitive. Absolutely. But but it Mm -hmm. it is also, you know, very dependent upon uh, training, educating yourself, learning the skills, yeah. and and then using your intuition to determine where do we go from here. Right. Yeah. And um, like I said, over the last two years, staff have really stepped up. They've really been innovated. Um, you know, we've done proning patients during COVID, and what that is is um, kind of turning patients onto their stomach. That was something that was unheard of prior to this two years ago. Um, we had to think of how do we you know, get equipment into the room for the patient and and get access for the nursing staff that they don't have to open and close the doors all the time because these patients are in negative pressure rooms. So people have been, um, you know, very quick-witted coming up with um, alternatives that they can use to give the best care to their patients and still maintain that level of safety that we need. So they're very flexible and adaptive. We are celebrating nurses today. Nurse, nurses Day kicks off Nurses Week, and people Correct. say, well, mm-hmm. what, it's Friday? What are you kicking off a week on a Friday? <laughs> yes. Uh, but there's a reason for that, too, isn't there? Yes. So we always end the week on Florence Nightingale's birthday, um, which is May 12th. So um, we celebrate throughout that whole week for um, our nurses you know, at Indiana and throughout the whole nation, yeah, yeah. throughout I, the whole world, really. I wanted to ask you, because we've talked about nurses in the uh, the OR, uh, nurses that are working the floors, mm-hmm. ER nurses. Mm-hmm. Those people are, are they're a the whole amazing other sort of creature, aren't they? They're just amazing. Yeah, they definitely are, because you never know what's going to roll in the door. You yeah. know, it could be a cough or a head cold. It could be um, a stabbing, a shooting. It could be a child. It could be, um, you know, an older adult. So you never know what's rolling in the door. And they really have to be quick on their feet and really um, adjust to any situation that comes in. I'm guessing the ones who draw the night shift are <laughs> even... <laughs> I mean, they, they see some things, let's yes. put it that mm-hmm. way. Yes, yes, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> especially on those full moons. Uh, sure. Yes. <laughs> Which, uh, well, that, I think uh, that we're coming up on one soon. Uh, see, it feels like we might be. <laughs> <laughs> and next Friday is Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, yes. <laughs> so, so we'll look forward to that as, yes. as well. Uh, but our celebration of nurses does go on, and, and I know that you, along with, with everybody, wish that uh, everybody who is uh, considering taking up the nursing profession um, that really take it seriously. Uh, Absolutely, it takes a yes. tremendous mm-hmm. commitment, but the rewards uh, yeah. of, of a lifetime of service, are, are they can't be understated. Absolutely. It's really a calling. And I feel that um, all of the nurses that are still with us, that stuck with us through the pandemic, you know, um, that's this is where their home is. They love Indiana. They want to be here. They want to take care of their community. So very thankful for them. Absolutely. All right. Uh, so uh, do we have a nurse's song that you want to sing right there? No? <laughs> I don't know of any, no. Okay. <laughs> Dina, you took some time to come over and visit with us to help us to understand uh, what nursing and what Nurses Day and Nurses Week is all about. I want to thank you for that. Thank you. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. 21 minutes after 8 o'clock, if you know a nurse... 
thank him or her today because they're doing a tremendous work that is far beyond what anybody who isn't in that profession understands. 22 minutes after 8 o'clock right now. Now our guest scheduled for the next...